Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to a few days of my life. I need to sparkle an apartment because um, one of our applicants uh, is moving in today, and then I'll be doing some cross training at one of our sister sites today. So I'd say today is going to be an action packed day, but before we get started, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and enable your notifications so you are notified each time I post. And without further ado, let's get into the motherfucking vlog no 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 let's get into the vlog um <clears throat> let's get into the vlog no like what what is all of this about let's get into the vlog no let's get into the vlog okay so we are at one of our sister sites this is an a2 I want to say that it's 700 plus square feet and they mini modeled this apartment. I think this is the laundry room. Yep, and unit laundry. Oh, let me, I'm supposed to be shutting this down, child. And I'm snooping. And this is the bedroom. Mm-hmm, walk-in closet, and bitch, they got the marble tiling and the tubs. They did what needed to be done, child. And meanwhile, I'm struggling at my property. And look what they got. Girl, meet me in a car. <laughs> I just want to walk neck, nigga on the top. You just want to send me automatic with a drop. Ask me if I'm finished now, but that's just begun. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. No, you don't. Uh -uh. Look at me, I don't know no other man. Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. I don't even got me a hundred pins. Yeah. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. <laughs> Give me peso, <laughs> extendo. I carry just like a prego. Good morning, blank. I hope all is well. I'm following up on a recent conversation we had in regard to um. So I'm in the process of um, following up with one of our residents um, just regarding a few complaints um, that have been reported to the leasing office from her neighbors. So let me, let me put this email together really quickly and then um, we'll chat. So today is Sunday, March 12th. Um, this is editing Satima <laughs> and a more present day Satima. <laughs> um, and I wanted to pop in and give you guys a little context. So you likely just watched um, a montage of me driving through Durham. Um, I was actually on my way to a job interview because at that time I was in the market for a new job. And um, the interview went well. I was offered the job, but after weighing, um, the pros and cons, I ultimately decided that I didn't want to move forward. Um, 
mainly because their pay isn't competitive enough. And for all of the work that I would have been doing, it just, it wouldn't have made sense. Um, that property is student housing integrated with residential living and they didn't advertise that on Indeed, which, which, is, which gagged me, girl. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm all about working smarter, not harder. And um, yeah, I would have been putting myself in a bind that, and I wouldn't have been happy. So um, I was in my car just venting and I felt like I was oversharing. And um, I'm also learning to be mindful of what I say on public forum. I'm, I'm learning to be mindful of what I say, period. Um, while still maintaining that, that, that transparency, um, that kind of balance is difficult because it's like you wanna share, uh, but you, you just have to be mindful of what you put out there. Um, and, and yeah, but we can get into that on another day <laughs> but um i just wanted to pop in and give you guys uh, a little context because you guys deserve that <laughs> and yeah we will continue on with the video so this is how everything turned out <laughs> i got a dozen balloons from party city and it only came out to about 20 bucks and um that included the inflation um and don't come for me about my christmas tree she's here to stay i got a bouquet of flowers from aldi um lit a candle to get the vibes going and put valentine's day ambiance in the youtube search engine and <laughs> this is what came up and then i got two bottles of champagne from aldi as well so <laughs> um for this to <laughs> have been so last minute um i'm satisfied with how everything turned out Babe is on the way with a few things and then we'll get the night started. And once everything thaws out, I will be cooking ribeye steaks with a lobster tails and um, the sides will be baked potatoes and asparagus. So yeah, y'all. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to uh, play some music and I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I have, Professor. <laughs> I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a Hey, Mike. Good morning. What's up? I need a pen and pass. Okay. Anything that's high priority for anything. Okay. Otherwise, I have units that, uh, that need to get turned that are bad. Okay. <laughs> um... I know that we have 5909C moving in today at three o'clock. That one I know, uh, I pulled my stuff out of there and Rodney was cleaning off the back patio, it was loaded in leaves. Okay. There was one thing that I noticed in that apartment and that was the mirror in the secondary bathroom. That looks like it, it needs to be glued together. What department? 5909C. Are you able to take a look at that? 5909C. Yeah, that's been vacant for a while. It's a stell unit. No, no. That's glued already. I can tell you that because me, me and Terrell already glued. 5909. I feel like that was a different You don't get up there and see me. Remember that's where the where, where the where the uh, squirrel got into. No, that's fifty nine oh one C. Oh, there's another one, fifty nine oh nine C. If you if someone can take a look at that mirror, um, 
you know, Kathleen got, she, she was rejected. So 4001C1E, you don't have to worry about anymore, but definitely 5909C, 5913B got rejected. And then 3901J3D looks... Oh, that's the one that needs... Um... The ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. I know Ray ordered it last week. Haven't seen it, but... Haven't seen it yet? Okay. It was something else that was needed and... Oh, the carpet got replaced already, and then the unit needs to be cleaned. <laughs> and that's the 3901? Yeah, 3901. I haven't been in that, so I'm going to have to... Maybe it was Tyrell who was in there? It's, it's possible. Yeah. If we could take a look into 5909C, 3901J3D. Um... 4001J3D, did they get approved? Let's see. And then 6093D. 4001J3D. Is that the one where um, that was the eviction? Yep. I thought they gave, they had given that to Rodney, but this man said he may need a hand with that, so. Okay, I can walk it today too, to yeah, check I on mean, Rodney's progress, because that's a moving for the 18. He, I don't know what he's getting done, I don't Yeah, know. yeah, I'll poke my head inside of there today, and it's 6093D. Oh, that was a. They recently moved out. Mm -hmm. They were. How, do you do you know what that unit is nope, looking like? I haven't been in it. Yeah, they're. I thought pending. Jeff had just recently painted. Yep, they moved out on the twelve. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stick my head in four thousand one J three D and sixty ninety three D today. But yeah, fifty nine oh nine C and thirty nine oh one J three D would be our priority. Okay, so you. And I'll print out a pendant task for myself as well. You need a pen? I just want to put a little star next to the, yeah. the ones that you're saying that are the. So 3901J and the 5909C. Mm hmm. Okay. And you said Rodney's in there um, leaf blowing now? He, he was earlier on, on that C because it back there was loaded in leaves yeah the cleaners are coming out before three o'clock i'm gonna i'm gonna they're gonna have to deep clean that apartment including the 5909 mm -hmm. and they're gonna have to uh clean that balcony as well they're gonna have to clean the balcony because it's been sitting since the summertime so it smells stale in there Tell me why um, I think our move-in is here. Um, this is my first week at this property and I've never done a move-in by myself. So I'm going to need to call their property manager. But girl, um, we're going to see. <laughs> This is a full job. This is a full, full and a half. And I still need to open, oh, like, I still need to open up the show unit. So, um, I'm gonna tell them to, I'm gonna tell them to wait in their cars until 10 o'clock. Alexa, stop music. Because we can't afford um, any copyright strikes in these YouTube streets, okay? Let me get my coffee so we can have a little chit chat. <laughs> probably should have, ooh, hazelnut, my favorite. We probably, of 
probably should have um, held off from making coffee until after our move-in, but whatevs. Um, good morning and welcome to the last day of the vlog. Um, I am back at one of our sister sites helping out and um, um, it's looking like a busy day. We have um, five tours, three move-ins. I want you guys to see how I handle my move-ins. Um, it's pretty standard for all of our properties. With that being said, I think that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to sparkle one of our show units um, because we are expecting five tours today and I'm hoping that we walk away with a lease. Oh! 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 Um, you're looking at the leasing agent of the motherfucking year, bitch. Yes. Yes. I won leasing agent of the year. Um, that's a big fucking deal, bitch. That's a big fucking deal because I haven't even been with a company for a year yet. So the fact that um, I was recognized as the top agent of the year, like it's only up from here. Um, I would like to um, be promoted this year. Um, right now I'm at the leasing agent level. Next up is the leasing manager, um, which is basically an assistant PM. And then after 8 PM, then you get promoted to uh, property manager or community manager. I know that people use those interchangeably, but yeah, my goal is to be promoted to leasing manager by the end of this year. Um, I have a lot of learning to do but yeah that's my little that's my little update girl um i'm not sure if i'm gonna take you guys who is this calling and thank you for choosing the waterford apartments this is satima speaking how may i assist Yes, ma'am. We will see you at 12.30 p.m. Do you know how to get here? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You were actually redirected to me, and I, I work at one of our sister sites. Um, so, yeah, I will go ahead and call my peer right now and let her know that you accidentally canceled your tour. And yeah, um, she will see you at 1230. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. You take care. Bye. Okay. Hold on. Let me contact Madison, bitch. Madison is so funny. She makes me laugh. She really does. And she calls me, she calls everyone beauty queen. She's such, she's such a Southern damn belle girl. Hey, beauty queen. Um, Isabella mistakenly, oh, I did not spell mistakenly correctly. Mistakenly canceled her tour to let you know that she'll be in. Still getting hold on y'all calls from hands over and still getting calls from hands over. Um yeah, do you guys wanna come see me sparkle a unit? I mean I sparkle you guys have seen me sparkle so many times. I'm probably not going to show you guys that. But yeah, um, I will check in with you guys when I do our third move-in for the day. And um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll likely wrap up. So I'll, I'll see y'all in a second. So it is now later in the day. 
um, and I have some downtime. So I want us to go over move-ins, right? Now, um, I know that it's going to look slightly different depending on which company you work for, but in the general sense, um, it should be pretty similar, right? So um, let's go back. So when an applicant gets approved, one of the first things that you want to do is send them an approval email. Um, I actually have my template um, right in front of me. I'm going to give you guys some free game, okay? So pull out your pen and your, and your notepad, okay? So mine goes like this. Dear resident, um, congratulations on your approval. We are so excited to welcome you to our beautiful community. With move-in day being just a few days away, hold on y'all, I'm sorry. There are, <laughs> girl, I don't know why I won't just move the camera. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, there are a few things we will need you to complete in preparation for your move-in day. Exclamation mark. Um, set up electricity through um, Duke Energy is what we use um, in the state of North Carolina, but again, it could be different in your state. Um, and forward us your full account number. With our um, company, the future move-ins are required to send us their full um, account number. Um, again, through Duke Energy, just to confirm that it got done. Register an account with our resident portal with your new address um, so that they are able to pay their rent, submit service tickets, um, communicate with their neighbors, um, amongst other things. And you want your residents to get in the habit of utilizing the resident portal because it really mitigates the traffic, um, the office traffic, because we have so much that we have to do throughout the day. And it's like, if we can mitigate that traffic, it, 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 it really helps. So make sure that they sign up um, or register an account with whatever resident portal that you guys use. And then, um, pay your moving costs, which will likely include uh, their deposit. So, I think that you guys should require that um, your move-ins uh, pay with certified funds, whether it be through a money order or a cashier's check. And I'm gonna tell you why. It doesn't happen often, but some people won't have the money to move in and they'll use their banking information thinking that it'll give them a few days because depending on which bank you have, it could take a few days before it drafts from the account. And if it bounces due to insufficient funds, then they now have full possession of an apartment that they didn't pay for. So to alleviate all of that, I think that you should of all of your future move-ins, pay with certified funds, period. Um, also, if you guys, um, or if your company does daily pricing, the rates will fluctuate or it'll change depending on their move-in day. So you'll have some people who will try to be slick, bitch. And let's say, um, let's say if they, they apply today. Today is February 18th knowing that they will likely not be able to move in same day <laughs> because your on-site team needs time to process their application and turn the unit so it is moving ready. Average turn time is seven days. And sometimes it could be more depending on what is needed in that unit. So to, to make sure that you are covering your bases, I'd say schedule your move-ins at least a week out. And again, some things you'll have to take with a grain of salt because it varies depending on which company you work for. But again, in the general sense, this is just my advice. Before their move-in day, you should have coordinated a time um, 
for their movement orientation and for them to pick up keys. Now, that process should only take about 15 minutes. Um, you're just going over general uh, community guidelines and policies and answering any questions that they may have. Um, and you're also making sure that they have set up electricity, they have signed their leases, and they have paid their move-in uh, costs. Don't ever make the mistake of giving them keys without those things being done. Because depending on which company you work for, that could be grounds for termination. And I would hate <laughs> for any of you to lose your job over something that could have been avoided. And I would say until um, you get fully acclimated, um, you should have a move-in checklist, please. So perfect. They're here now, right? Um, you've completed move-in orientation. What you now want to do is um, do their walkthrough. So you are going to walk with them to their apartment and um, you are going to make sure that everything is to their liking, right? You want to make sure that you have uh, their official inventory and conditions form. Um, majority of these forms are powered by National Apartment, by the National Apartment Asso Association, but again, it could, it could vary depending on which management group you work for. Hello. Yeah. Is Shivani, uh, uh, Shivani Screen Tree Mm-hmm. How can I help you? So I want to know when the lease and payment is going to be, like when I will get a notice. Yes, sir. Um, go ahead and give me your um, address again. It's 2022. Mm -hmm. Road. And the building number? Four. Okay. So you are wanting to know when your lease expires? Uh, when I'll get an, uh, uh, the notice for the lease extension. Uh, yeah, so it looks like your lease is set to expire on April 2nd. Usually they send it out to you two months prior. Oh, I'm so, so sorry, sir. Your lease doesn't expire until July 1st. Yes. So you get it 60 days out. So it's a little too early right now. Okay, so can I expect in April? I'm sorry, sir? In May, I, I, I can get that May or April, right? Yeah, about eight, April, May. Okay. Yeah, um, and we, we do, um, we have a program called the Early Bird Special. I think that's what you're referring to, where we uh, sometimes offer lease, lease extensions um, mm -hmm. at a 0% increase. Yes, um, yes. So you want to make sure that you are actively checking yes. your email yes. so you can take advantage of that, if applicable. Oh, okay. All sure. right. Thank you. No problem, sir. And I hope that you have a great rest of your night. You <laughs> okay. I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. Bitch. You just want to send me automatic with a drum. Hit me if I finish now. Nah,